the 20th anniversary of September 11th came and went this weekend. The impact felt in the immediate aftermath of the tragic event still being experienced, especially for one group of Americans. Yeah, NBC4's Matthew Herjig is live with us this morning. Yeah, guys, you know, 9-11 was such a horrific event for Americans, but for many people all over the world, but it really drastically changed the perception of Muslim Americans. And in the days after the anniversary, Muslims say the stereotypes are just as prevalent today as they were when they were adopted days after 20 years ago. Many of those stereotypes are based you know, simply on appearance. And I spoke with CARE Ohio, one of the largest Muslim civil rights organizations in the state. And one spokes spokesperson told me that she recalls the day vividly, even as a young eight-year-old girl, and even she noticed the hate that started being directed towards Muslims, a reality that was difficult to process at a young age. And whether it's school-age kids in the classroom or grown adults in the workplace, Muslim Americans are still often made to feel like outsiders, even in their own communities. You can view yourself as, you know, part of the community, born and raised with the same people, and yet they can still see you as other. And that's very confusing for students. It's very confusing for children who just grew up, you know, here in America, just like everyone else. And no matter how hard you try, no matter um, how much you're integrated into the community, they will still view you as the other. Now, Tala DeBoer there says that between 2016 and 2020, 60% of Muslims reported feelings of discriminations. Hundreds have reached out to their organization already this year alone. And she says to this day, Muslim people who have no connection to 9-11 or those responsible for it are still lumped into the same group as those who are. And breaking those stereotypes starts with people of power, particularly those educating young children. If you're going to be in a classroom discussion about the topic, is your educator prepared to ensure that they, they're not going to perpetuate the same stereotypes that you've experienced your entire life? Are they going to be able to frame the topic in a way that makes you feel safe? Now this weekend, CARE Ohio put out a toolkit to educators in Central Ohio about how to approach the topic of the anniversary in a sensitive manner, and they continue to provide services to those bullied in school or any Muslims who experience the discrimination they still face in their lives every single day. Matt. It's important, it's important work they're doing there. Thank you very much, Matt.